On Sunday, June 24, 2012, at approximately 10.01 a.m. Central Daylight Time, two Union Pacific freight trains collided head-on near Goodwill, Oklahoma. The westbound train, designated AAMMLX-22, departed Pratt, Kansas at about 5.32 a.m. The eastbound train, designated ZLAAH-22, departed Dalhart, Texas at about 8.45 a.m. This close-up view shows the location of signals along the track in the area of the accident. The eastbound train was scheduled to stop on the main track before the east end of the Goodwell siding. The westbound train was scheduled to divert onto the siding to clear the track for the eastbound train. The local time is shown, as is the speed of both trains. At about 9.56 a.m., five minutes before the collision, the westbound train passed an advance approach signal displaying a flashing yellow aspect located approximately 5.1 miles before the east entrance to the Goodwell siding. The westbound train crew was required to reduce their train speed to 40 miles per hour, and they began reducing speed to comply with the signal indication. At about the same time, the eastbound train also passed an advance approach signal displaying a flashing yellow aspect located approximately 2.4 miles from the west end of the Goodwell siding. The eastbound train crew was also required to reduce their train speed to 40 miles per hour to comply with the signal indication and be prepared to stop at the signal located at the east end of the Goodwell siding. The event recorder data showed that the eastbound train continued past the signal at a speed of about 67 miles per hour. At about 9.58 a.m., the eastbound train passed an approach signal located near the west end of the Goodwell siding, approximately 1.8 miles from the east end of the siding. The signal was displaying a solid yellow over solid red aspect. The eastbound train crew was required to reduce train speed to 30 miles per hour to comply with the signal indication and be prepared to stop before the train passed the signal located at the east end of the Goodwell siding. The event recorder data showed no actions were taken to reduce the speed of the train and the train continued past the signal at a speed of about 68 miles per hour. A little more than one minute before the collision, the westbound train passed an approach diverging signal located approximately 2.6 miles before the east entrance of the Goodwell siding. The signal was displaying a solid yellow over solid yellow aspect. The westbound train crew continued to reduce train speed to prepare to advance on a diverging route to enter the Goodwell siding. A few seconds later, the eastbound train passed a stop signal with a solid red aspect located near the east end of the Goodwell siding. The eastbound train continued past the stop signal at a speed of about 65 miles per hour. Event recorder data showed that the westbound train crew applied emergency braking about 20 seconds before the collision. Event recorder data also showed that the eastbound train crew applied emergency braking about 8 seconds before the collision. At about 10.01 a.m., the two trains collided head-on about 1.5 miles east of the Goodwell siding at an estimated combined speed of 79 miles per hour.